All right, folks. Today I'm shooting the 1909 765 Mauser. I think that tripod is shaking a little bit. The sweat bees are horrendous. So I apologize if one of them happens to get in front of the lens. I hate the little bastards. Uh, today what I'm doing is the same what I was doing with the Remington 700 ADL 243 is I'm just shooting up a bunch of these old 765 rounds. See, this is an old round nose that's been loaded from days gone by, a really old cartridge. So I'm just shooting it all up to get the brass. I don't know what grain or weight these are. I, I, all I know is, is the round nose, and they are going to be shot up today. They're not grouping too bad down there. One more and then I'll switch camera position. These are them round nose outfits. I don't even know what grain weight they are. Let's see how they perform and cycle. Let's see here. And somebody is drag racing illegally through town. Yeah, I think that's some bitch one a mile high. Yep, they're hitting high. Now, well. That's why I'm shooting them up.
<laughs> All right, I'm filming again. I'm shooting the Mauser again. Uh, I had to take a break and let the barrel cool, so I went over to the Marlin 22 15YN. Now I'm back to the big boy. Let's see if we can catch any bullets in flight. See if the sunlight reflects off of them. <clears throat> now I do know what these are. These are 150 grain interlock Hornaday bullets. I'm just shooting to shoot. I, the main purpose of my actions today is to get shoot all this brass up. These ain't grouping too bad. They shouldn't be. They should be grouping pretty, pretty good. These are my hand loads. Good old 765 by 53. Okay. On fire. There we go. Switching between the 22 and Mauser is a bit, a bit testing.
And that was it. That was all of my 765 ammo for my Mauser. And so the reloading begins. I'll show the group down there. Uh, again, like I said, I wasn't shooting for accuracy. But I did get a few of them to group pretty decent. Alright, so... This was my first group when I got there. Now this is a conglomeration of round nose and Hornaday interlock. I didn't measure this because it's just two... It, you know, it's two different groups with two different loads, no need to measure it. I was just shooting there for fun. That's really all I was doing yesterday. And this is the next day, by the way. I didn't finish last night. I didn't finish this up last night. But I'm put, going to be uploading it today. Okay, so these were with the round nose um, 765, and they were loaded in these old Norma. It's loaded in these old uh, 765 Argentine Norma cases here. And um, whoever loaded these, it wasn't my dad, because my dad, way back, like in the mid 80s or something, he lent his uh, 765 reloading dies to a friend of his, and he loaded up a bunch of those round those uh, 765. So. Those weren't our reloads, but uh, they ran through my gun, and I got a 3M away with them. Now, these were with my hand loads here. I remember pulling that one. I did three-shot group, and those were with uh, 150 grain uh, soft point interlocked bullets. Got two MOA. I shot here a few times, but this is a total train wreck because I hit was shooting this side with the Marlin 15YN uh, in between cool down periods with the Mauser. So I did shoot over here and these were with my reloads too and got a 1 MOA right in here and then down here I got a 2.25 MOA and this was the last one I think last group I shot. Now I can't tell if this bullet here was with this group or with if this was with that group but anyway I just measured it as I see it and I did shoot a bunch over here on this side and there's quite a bit of bullet holes over here from the Mauser but it's whatever uh, getting perfect groups wasn't my objective yesterday it was to shoot up all this uh, remaining 765 Argentine ammo Anyway, this has been Pluskin by 51mm. Uh, I know I said I was going to do the Ultramax ammo test, and that will be coming, but yesterday I just wanted to shoot a centerfire rifle and have fun and not worry about having a real serious outcome or uh, trying to get a real good group size. I was just plinking the plink. I uh, got more videos coming. Uh, going to the church farm tomorrow, hopefully. Uh, if everything pans out, I think me, me, my dad, and my sister are all going. And I'll have a video up to, uh, of our adventures tomorrow. Anyway, this has been Pluskin by 51mm. See you all in the next video.